Hi everyone, in this series of tutorial I will show you some tricks to create some procedural material in Blender for Cycle and also for Heavy. In this first tutorial, in this first video, I will show you how to create this aluminium material that works fine also in Heavy and Cycles and uh, it's everything in this viewport is only procedural there is no texture so it's a good uh, good thing to create a very good material and, uh, and create a nice result for some product renderings and so on so let's jump in to create this material I create a new sphere a simple UV sphere hide the first one and with this first selected, sorry, I take it in the shading mode. After set up the, the, the our basic sphere for create this material, I will go to the shader node editor and create a new principle as BSDF material. For instance, we can rename it aluminium. aluminium polished that's the material that we create today and uh, we uh, let's jump straight in to make some adjustment on this uh, on this principal BSDF to have uh, the correct look first of all and most important thing uh, aluminium is quite a metallic material not a full metal but white metal so to do this in the, the better result, I think is to set metallic slider to 0 0.9, not one, but 0 0.9, less, bit less than mm, full metallic aspect. Uh, you can leave the, the specular at 0 0.5 or turn off. It's up to you, but I I leave it at standard value of 0 0.5 um, after doing this I uh, reduce the roughness to uh, a value of 0 0.187 that's I think it works fine for me as you can see here we can have some good reflection but not full sharp reflections uh, now it's time to create a base uh, color um, variation on the shader and for for this kind of effects I use a Musgrave, te Musgrave texture this one with a mapping node with Ctrl T and Node Wrangler this one Node Wrangler set it to on in brand of preferences you can uh, activate this uh, texture coordinate and mapping node with the shortcut Ctrl and T. Uh, now I uh, plug the height of the Musgrave texture on the base color and start to set up the the, <coughs> the, the texture. Sorry, of for this uh, base color material. Um, leave the first two things uh, as default and set the scale to an higher value 200 or maybe 300 for me is good as you can see here so increase the detail to the maximum value of 16 and the dimension to 0 I think this created a very good base to create our aluminium uh, metal uh, uh, surface noise uh, as you know uh, this kind of noise is more is too much contrast so we can we must reduce the contrast between white and black areas so we have to add here a color ramp And with the color ramp, with the, the black values, we have to reduce the, the color to a more white one. Something like this could be fine for me. 
and also we have to change a little bit the white to a not perfect white one so here are the results of our increase uh, some variation on the base color of this material another important thing to do in this kind of material in this procedural material series is to emphasize this variation with some surface imperfections so to do this we must have some bumpiness on on top of it and so we have to create the bump node here plug in to the normal one and in it insert a noise sorry a noise texture there's one connected to the height of bump and set up some variation on it for the noise texture node i think it's good to increase some scaling mapping to 15 and also increase the detail to 15 not 60 just a little bit mean uh, less sorry and set the roughness to 0 0.45 this is up to you. I think it's this kind of uh, values are, works fine for me and for this material, but you can try different approach to this material. That's my suggestion to it. Uh, another important thing is to uh, decrease the strength because it, now it's very, very heavy i think it's more similar a crumpled uh, aluminium foil and not a polished aluminium sphere and so to do this i will set up the, this strength to a very very small value to 0 0.004 just to create some visual variation but not so much as you can see if i replug it it's change on the reflection but not interfere with the other surface so the look of the material is more or less the same uh, last thing to do to control better this material on every object you will apply to with this material I plug the vector of the mapping into the vector of the noise texture so when I move the control of the mapping I can move everything in the material so we can move the the, the the mass grave and the noise texture another important thing to do that I miss before is switch to object the texture coordinate mode because generated works not works very well and the objects uh, with the uh, noise texture and procedural texture in general works well with e uh, on every surface you have uh, maybe you can try with UV also uh, that's work fine if you have some particular UV uh, applied on this kind of material so now if you, we can uh, as you can see we can rotate it, the texture and move it up and scale it to create whatever you want on this base material so I hope you enjoy and uh, soon we 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 can uh, find you can find the this material with other ones uh, in uh, my Gamrot page to support me and uh, share my works and utilize it without reproducing it and uh, also you can find the uh, more variation on the same shader some um, steel and gold and brass and so on i i keep updated the file so you can download more times to to have a, all my also stay tuned with my newest material that i upload on camera so see you in the next video bye